what is up everyone, welcome back to another Gunpla review and I've really fallen behind on these so today I'm going to do a really quick one and that is the MS Option Set 6 and HD Mobile Worker. But anyway, let's take a quick look through this. So far everything is straight up in grey. Here are the instructions and let's get this box out of the way. So that right there is the forerunners that come in the box. We also get this little set of foils so I'm guessing there's some hands in there. Let me see where they at. Right here, so we've some kind of fists by the looks of things. But anyway, I'm gonna throw all these together really quickly and then we'll take a look at them. But anyway, I'm gonna throw all these accessories together really quickly and then we'll take a closer look at them. So first up in here, we've got the mobile worker that can move around there. The armor plates can move up and down, but that's pretty much it. The mobile workers are usually quite plain and of course, to make this look good, you're gonna have to paint it. Next up then, we've multiple head parts for the Shiden. A lot of these seem to have like an Oni type vibe to them. There is the first visor there and that's like a one-horned looking Oni. Pull that off and there is a second part and there again with an Oni vibe this time with two horns. Of course this goes well with the baseball bat because I'm pretty sure a red Oni, a two-horned red Oni has a club. So I guess that's what they're getting at with this. So that's the baseball bat or club. While I'm showing this I might as well show this as well as that there is the attachment part for this which then attaches onto the backpack of the Shiden which I just realized I don't have on his back. This is still attached from the other review. So pull that off and, so pull that off and stick that on like so. And there, that is the bat. And lastly for the visors then, pull that one off, stick on the original visor. And we have this little antenna part which should stick into the back of the head like that. And as you can see, all these parts of the head aren't the right color. This should be the same color as this. The one horned visor should be in white and this one should be the same color as that one there, but they're not. Next up then are the launchers for on the forearm of the Barbatos, but I don't have mine right now, so just kind of like imagine them on. <laughs> I know that's super lazy, but he's in the other room and I could be arse getting them. There's also a pair of fists as well. There are stickers for on the back of those, but again, you probably don't want to use them, you'd prefer to paint them. Or, as what I would do, I would just take the original white parts of the back of the Barbatos Lupus's hands and stick them on there, because they fit. Again, you can imagine those on. I apologize, it's like my fifth or sixth review today. So I'm just kind of trying to get through it real quick. Also in here, we've got this little section here, and that is for using with the launchers. Just pull this part off, connect it on there, and then those can be used with the Shide. So that's pretty cool. Lastly then is the multi-weapon pack. There is what it looks like in its most basic form. Actually, I guess you could pull these off for its absolute basic form. Next up then, this section can attach on like this. And as you can see from the front there, this looks like some kind of missile launcher. We also have this little section here as well that attaches onto the bottom there somewhere. And that attaches on there, I think, like this. But seriously, I have no idea what that is or what it's meant to be. And it looks really awkward on there. I don't think I have it on the wrong way. But seriously, if you know what this is meant to be, tell me. So far, this multi thingamajig isn't the greatest. This is really loose, this is loose. Next up then, we've got this little part that attaches onto the bottom here. So just like with a lot of the Graze's weapons, that just attaches in under the handle there and looks like that. But the last thing, and definitely the main event, what looks the best, has to be this big bladed segment that attaches in there as well just like the last part. Personally I think just like this is enough. The whole multi weaponness doesn't really work so well on here. But anyway that is it for the review. Apologies on it being so short and rough. But anyway come back for more Gunplan reviews and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.